Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Welcome to the Thursday Morning Rush. This is your reading and I am your host. I am Charles and I thank you for coming. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for clicking on that little picture. Thank you for being a regular. Thank you for being one of our mystics. But anyway, I am your host. I am your host with yeah, the ghost, and she's right there. A little entity that hangs around, keeps me company, keeps us company. An entity, a spirit, a ghost. But anyway, welcome everybody. It's almost a weekend. It's getting closer and closer. Um, the little green guy, the green guy's around. He's hanging around somewhere. I don't know if you can see him, but... Uh, I don't know, I kept feeling these little pats on my head when I was sitting back. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, remember, readings are for your entertainment purposes only. That's just a disclaimer. That's just a little bit of legalese, all right? Um, not everything I say will pertain to each and every one of you, but if you feel a little tingle, a little twitch, a little touch of zen within you, or within your area, within your bubble. Well, perhaps what I am saying is a response to you, all right? You are the one watching me at this moment. Yes, we're entertainment, right? We're entertainment purposes only, but you, know, you had the feeling, you had the energy, you had the spirit to click that little button. That was your little energy exchange. You wanted to come and see what could be happening here today for your Thursday. And that's what we're here for. And like I said, I think it was yesterday, knowledge is power. And today we use the tarot cards. You all know, well, you know, if you're a regular, you know I like to use the tarot cards as a tool. The tarot cards are but a tool to help guide in a reading. The answers come spiritually. My spirits talk to yours, okay? And if there's some general thing out there that I'm curious about, they will come back with the answer to me. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I am splitting the deck to the left, All right? What happens next? Yeah, you know, I split to the left and then I spread them to the right. So, here we go. For your Thursday morning rush, a little reading before you run out the door, before you rush out the door, this is your reading. And it starts off by being a very good day to um, mingle with your co-workers, okay? Um, mingling, yes. And also, if you have a meeting today, it looks like your meeting shall go well. Right? Meetings could be in the conference room. A meeting could be in your break room. A meeting could be in your courtroom. All right? But it looks like things are going to go well today, okay? Um, try not to overthink something, all right? I see something n nagging at you, all right? Um, I don't know why I use that word, but <clears throat> the word is nagging. Something's nagging at you. Something's picking at your brain, all right? I think you're using a little too much energy, you know, on whatever this situation is, okay? It looks like it's a situation that will clear up by itself, all right? That's not the lazy way out. That's just the way it is, all right? Um, something that you might want to do something about, but, you know, if you don't do something about it, it might be better off that way because it, it's, it's going to straighten itself out. So, uh, yeah, don't don't lose any more sleep over this. Um, it looks like this is something that might have kept you up or others up um, um, a little more than it should. Okay? Uh, today looks like it could be a, you know, a fairly um, vigorous day for you. You know, if you have a... A, a job that um, you do a lot of physical work at. It looks like uh, today could be, you know, one of those days, you know, where you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be earning that paycheck, all right? On, um, you know, the physical type of things, even mental, you know, challenges, you know, are gonna be strong. Okay, um, I get that some of you might actually take off a little bit earlier today to go see your family. Are you away from home? Are you um, anticipating a little travel? coming up this weekend. Well, if you can take it off 
you know, a little bit earlier, you know, today's Thursday, instead of, you know, taking off Friday, or taking off after work Friday, if you, if you can uh, get home to the uh, folks a little bit earlier, I'm sure that'll be greatly appreciated. That's what we get here. Um, yeah, um, you got little ones, you got youngins. Well, uh, it looks like they can use a little extra attention tonight, all right? Give them a little extra quality time. <clears throat> I, I know it's going to be a work night and a school night, but uh, uh, perhaps uh, play a little game with them, a board game of some sort, a board game of some sort, not necessarily a computer game or, you know, a video game, you know, where, you know, you just, you know, stare ahead, you know, get get a little interaction going with your, your little, your, your, your uh, want to say your little pals, your, your buddies, your kids, all right? They can be your pals, they can be your buddies, but remember, they are your children. They look up to you, and they appreciate quality time. <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, I have picked up that spread of cards. That means it's our intermission time for, what, less than a minute? Um, and uh, this is when I say that I am available to go private. You got something you need answered? Well, just come and see me. We will do a reading. I like to do the readings on Skype. How much you might ask? It's by donation after the reading. Well, you know, we're going to use that old PayPal or such, you know, and you just make a donation, right? Because you care, right? That's what it is. So, let's do another little spread of cards here for Thursday. Alrighty, here we go. We are putting them down. All right. Again, Thursday looks pretty good, especially for folks in training, in school, in vocational training. Uh, does this include military? Yes, this includes you guys in the military, you guys and gals. All right. Uh, it looks really good here. Um, just pay attention. You're gonna. It's gonna be a. Uh, a magnificent day in your training. I don't know, you know, why is, I don't, what, magnificent in training in school? <laughs> Whatever, you know, I'm just a, the uh, messenger. Um, it looks like uh, something's going to get a little tough on you today and just be a little, a little extra stronger, have a little more patience, all right? If you have a male boss, well, it looks like uh, um, he's going to be uh, looking for you for a little more responsibility. Uh, it's not that, you know, he's trying to take advantage of you. It looks like it's a thing of they think that you can do it, all right? They look like, you know, you can handle the extra added responsibility. And it also might be some sort of test uh, checking you out for a future uh, endeavor that they might be um, working on, something that you don't know about just at this time. Okay, so if your boss comes around, especially if it's a male, and they give you a job that's a little, little off the wall, well, um, take it with a smile and do it the best you can, all right? Because it will probably pay off in, in the long run. Okay, um, it looks like, uh, where are you here? Uh, this is in school again. It looks like uh, some people are looking at you to help in some sort of project, and... Um, you could be able to do it, no problem. You don't have no issues with doing it. Um, but you know, the, the the people asking you about this project, or you're know, going to do it or finish it or whatever, you know, it looks like they're actually. I don't want to call them lazy, but you know, they just don't want to do it. You know, they want their free time, so they want someone else to do it. But you know, take the lead. You know, at least you can put that down on your resume coming up after you get out of school. You know that you took charge of this certain project. And uh, trust me, uh, I've read a lot of resumes, you know, for hiring folks, and I do look at them, you know, under achievements, okay? So, that looks good, everything looks good, you know, it looks like it's going to be a good day. Uh, watch out for obstacles on the road if you're a driver of some sort. Um, I get some um, extra surprises on the road, all right? And, you know, it has to deal with your safety, so that popped up here. Um, if you are on the roads... And it's wet out there or icy, slow it down, slow it down. You might be able to handle it, but some things might get in your path. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this all looks good. Remember, I'm available to go private on Skype. And uh, 
If you need email questions, well, uh, pass it by me on whether or not I'm going to be available to do email questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember to like the video. That's hit that thumbs up symbol. And remember to leave comments if you don't mind. You know, well, what, what's on your mind? What's going on? Uh, how's thing? How's life treating you? But, um, and also remember to click on the moon. The moon means to subscribe. It's free to subscribe and our members of our channel have oh so many more things available to them. And it's free, like I said, okay? It's free to subscribe. Just click it and become a mystic. And it is very cool. Okay, we're going to have uh, three ESP cards here for Friday, so don't miss it. And um, uh, I'll see you later. Reading is done. All right.